Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Good morning, ah, sir. Believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking, yeah, but most of them drifted off. That cow likes you. Almost got a pail full. Lot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Hold on. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. You almost got me. Hold on a moment. Look at 
this horse shit. That stinks. Think your mother's hiding somewhere? Laughing at us? Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Shoveling shit. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Put in there. We don't want it coming down. Okay. Again. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Choose a notch and put it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. And that's it. Good. Fine. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Milton, I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Uh, come on! 
Mr. Dickens? Oh, good. How you doing? Thought I said I don't rightly know. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. And since you showed up, runaway horses been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. You... Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. 
<laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Hey. Oh, hey. Easy now. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Hello. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. There you are. Well done. Come on! Where's that big, mean horse? We're okay. Yeah, boy! Yeah, Jeremiah! You're a good boy. Come on! Let it all out of you! Okay! That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? Be proud of yourself. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Well done. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're...
Oh. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow one? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. Well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. <laughs> Mr. Milton. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Martha. Got him. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Here we go. Get a hold of it again. Grip them. Oh, I lost it. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Oh, I slipped. You'll know them when you got them. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, Miss... Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know, but maybe that stream? Good idea. Now, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. You're okay, girl. 
A horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... You're good, girl. See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Yep. Even faster. Come on. Faster? We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. What's happening? Help! Easy there! Easy there! Whoa! Jack! Whoa! Jack! You okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. Let's go again. Ah. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Hey! Come back here! You'll have to catch me! Hang in there, girl. Son. You won. This time. Whoa. You know, boy, you look just fine nailed up on that wall. Because this is private property. Mr. Jennings don't like trespassers. What's that, sir? Yes. You hear that? He don't like trespassers. 
You want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. He said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, oh, get her Come on, get her. I'll oh, kick his head in, Bob. Get that gun. It's like that, huh? They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Oh, boy. When was the last time you had a bath? Oh, he's licking you, boss. <laughs> He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested. No. Jim, you got to do something. Two. Oh, the stalls. They got Tom. Over. It's rich man's folly. You boys are. Who's this? New hand? Oh, you're that tough one. You know that offer? It just went down. Keep him. I lost my wind. Where's Giddy's neck? Hope you see him. Crap. Watch it burn. Dub Hicks. Dumb Hicks, you broke this on yourselves! Jim? Now they've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess we're... I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. Hey! Hey! Oh. 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 Oh.
Got this. You boys take cattle. See you back there, son. I know you're in here. Pin sticking, pit shoveling, backwoods, sacker, no good, trash. Oh! <sighs> 
that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she pay. <laughs> You're a good Philly. Good girl. Man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, oh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you. getting on surviving I think here come on get you take care now of course it's nice getting out of the house huh I like being in the house pa I think just about doing things you like boy what happened the other night with those men did you kill them I did what I had to do to protect you Ma said he was pride or something. I don't think I like going this fast. Ma was wrong about that. Here, want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold him and pull him short to slow down. Tell him to go faster, give him a little switch, and then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Whoa! Yeah! Strawberry, eh, hey, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. You stopped. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted at that. Very good. Now we're stuck. Why are we stopping?
You're a good dog. Hey, little fella. Stupid dog. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Yep. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh... I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah. Faster, please. Yeah. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Just a bit faster now. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. Is somebody back there? Just keep driving. I think the horse is getting skittish. We'll be all right. Nothing. Just keep driving. Come on! Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly. 
as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick! Now! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just... Blast this guy! Blast his Eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now compose yourself. Now we're stuck here. What are we gonna do? Them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. Why are you stopping? You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. Hmm. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There. Say hi to your mother. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. 
What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Hi, Sam. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail! Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl?
That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning disc. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with this feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too wrong. I'm Nothing like a fresh start. Farewell on your travels.
morning. How are you? Ain't too good at the moment. Tick! I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Hey, Mark. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. Ah! I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him, I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? <sighs> no, sir. Hey, we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's... Resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord.
Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk. No, not so as I would remember. Curly. What so, now? Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Easy yeah. enough. Thank you. Should be. Seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Well, stop. Hey, that's Nathan Kirk. That's Nathan Kirk. Oh, got him? Oh, shut up. Now. 
How'd you let him go? Get off me! Time up then. That a prison for me. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man! But it's all a mistake! My wife... My wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you buried, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She... Hey, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, I've got a couple of others. Come on, lady. <laughs> That's a girl. by the fire. Fine. You done wasted enough time.
girl. Hola, señor. Excuse me, sir. Can I, can I help you? Good day to you. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah.
You're a good girl now. Ah, plenty of reasons to smile. Good to hear. friend. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy. Says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <coughs> <coughs> A real gentleman. Okay, boys, let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here. You gonna mount up or what? Follow me. Just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. 
She's uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> so what was I talking about? Is she, Is she an, an idiot? idiot? No. no. What were you, what were you thinking? thinking? I don't, I don't know. know. She said she, said she, she wanted, wanted it. She, she ever, ever seen, seen it? it? What are we going to harm here? here? <laughs> Rocks? We? we? You don't you have don't a hope, hope you without, without a wise, wise hand. hand.